Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Creative Process. In this video, we'll look at how you can wrap a text to any shape you like. And we have seen how you can use it uh, to create some interesting design where you have reshaped the text in the shape of a circle, square. And after that, we have seen how we can use that technique to create a perspective text effect just like this. Now we'll understand how we can wrap a text in 3D shape using very simple techniques and options. And I will use this concept and create out some amazing design where we'll apply to a sphere and a cylinder or in a donut shape or in a square or a cuboid shape so let's look at how we can create this design first of all let's understand the concept so we'll be using some options from here 3d the first option we're going to use is the 3d extrusion bevel and 3d revolve options so we'll be using these two options and create out this design so let's look at it first i'll show you how we can create a spherical design just like this so the first step we're going to do is to type out your text so here is our text i have just typed out this text fair web in illustrator we'll use this and create this design so after creating out your text go to symbol and here just drag and drop it and and give it a name and click ok and here we got the symbol now you can just delete this out and now go to ellipse tool and draw a circle and after that using the scissor tool cut half of the circle so just click on the points and just delete out other half of the section and we got half of the circle well, now we'll go to effect 3d we'll choose the revolve option because we want a sphere so here we go we got a sphere and now i'll go to map art tick invisible geometry so that we got that invisible and over here choosing this surface we'll go to here and choose this new symbol we have added and now let's scale to fit and just uh, adjust the size over here just to get what you're looking for and we'll just play around with this so this way we are placing it and click ok and uh, i'll just uh, move around and make sure that we got this design so i'll just go to appearance and open 3d revolve preview and let's play around with the angle so let's rotate it something like this this one around here this one will rotate a little bit more and a little lower like that so we are adjusting the xyz value just to get some interesting angle similar to that and uh, we'll also go to map art and just uh, play around with this scale value of this we'll just reduce the text size just to get that uh, shape just extend the height a little bit to get that little volume over there and edge of the position as well design similar to that and just play on with the angle and the rotation a little bit and once you're kind of happy with that just click ok and this way we can wrap a text to any 3d shape in spherical design and after that once you're happy with that you can just do this or you can just add a background and leave it just like that and you get that effect now let's look at how we can apply the text to a cylinder and it's very simple so what you do is you need to type out a text just like this just type out some random text like this just to make sure that's symmetric and after that it's the same steps you have to change this into symbol so open the symbol layer just click and drag and drop uh, create a symbol delete this out and we got the symbol over there now I'll just add a background just to make sure that we got a background over here and let's draw a cylinder so for that I'll use the rectangle tool and uh, like this and change the color to something bright and go now go to effect 3d revolve and this will give you the cylinder shape so preview it and we got a cylinder I'll go to map art invisible geometry and let's add that new symbol here we go so as you can see this is the surface uh, lower surface we don't want it to apply it over here just clear it off and let's select that surrounding surface and here we go this is the surface we want just select that new symbol and let's play around with the position so as you can see text is in horizontal we want it in vertical line so i'll just change the angle with this like this and i'll just scale up the size of the text extended until here somewhere around here here let's move around 
and like that. And I'll click OK. Now that's just the angle of rotation. So we'll just uh, keep it something like this. And I'll just rotate the angle around here like that just to get that something like that. This one. And let's lower the angle of rotation. Make it uh, like perpendicular to the artwork. So just edges them. And once you feel like uh, the angle is okay, that's fine. But if you want to edit it more, you can just go in there and just play around with the text position, extend a little bit and place it in the center like that. Let's increase it a little bit more just to add these details at the ends like that and click OK. So here we go this way. We have added that in a cylinder. Now we'll go to object and expand it and object expand then ungroup it and release clipping mask and now we'll select these pieces and place it aside and selecting all these invisible shapes and delete it out now select these one and i'll just place it over here now select these background shapes and apply the color i have applied light gray color and for the top shapes i have applied white color and we got an interesting shape using the text by wrapping the text in a cylinder like that and now if you want to check out how we can create this donut shape it's very simple we have used a circle for this so let's draw a circle something smaller like that small circle like that this much thick just change the color to something like yellow so that we can see it and now we'll use effect 3d and we'll use the revolve option and this will revolve it in the shape of a donut. Let's increase the offset value over here. Something like this. And I'll just uh, adjust the angle of rotation over here. So use the Q perspective view to give that angle. You can increase the perspective value over here just to give some additional depth and just play around with this value as well to get an interesting design and i'll just click ok for now and now for this we need a text and i just type out some text this one and uh, what i did is i placed it here and one just above it as you can see the positioning is little opposite so one is here and another is just above i did this over here as well so after that just click and drag and draw it to the symbol and click ok now delete this off now select this 3d shape and go to appearance open the 3d revolve option here and let's preview it and now go to map art and here click on invisible geometry and over here choose the newest symbol over here that's scale to fit for now and let's do the adjustments now so just make it smaller okay and as you can see, this is on the different direction. So SS is over there and a little bit of angular rotation. And this one, angular rotation, similar to this. So I'm adjusting the angular rotation using the um, XYZ value and the like this. So we got that similar to that. And now I'll go to more map art like that and do some little more adjustments with the text. So just to try to extend it just to reduce that gap over here and just with the height as well, just to extend that details. We'll do final adjustments with the angle of rotation and from top, we'll just make it smaller and from the bottom also. So it's all about adjusting or in the design and creating some interesting look and I'll just click OK for now and let's look at it for now I'll keep it this way and as you can see the text are in opposite angle what I can do over here is I'll just go to symbol over here double click on it and I'll just select them like this or maybe select them and I'll just uh, go to reflect double click on it and reflect it vertically I'll do the same for here as well. Reflect vertically. And I'll just come out. And if I go in over here, open 3D Revolve, preview it, you can see that we got that here. So I'll just go into the map and do some further adjustments. 
So it's all about giving some time to your design and trying to get the design you want and after that I'll click OK and as you can see you got the same design just reflecting the text you got that design. So this is the way you can create some interesting 3D shape text like this and lastly we'll look at how we can create out this uh, 3D cube text effect. So to create this the first thing we're going to do is to create a cube. Uh, so to create that I'll use a rectangle tool and draw a square just like this and what I'll do is I'll go to effect 3D let's see this I'll just place it somewhere around it just to see the comparison so we want to create this so I'll just go to effect 3D extreme bevel for this and uh, we'll give some depth so increase the thickness a little bit and let's play around with the perspective so this one is 0 by 0 something around here let's adjust the angle of rotation just to get that depth perspective depth similar to that and I'll just increase the perspective depth as well like that and just keep on adjusting it uh, to give an interesting look like that and here and after that I'll click OK. Now for this we need some text like this we need some text uh, to get it. So I have uh, type out some text over here I'll just bring it down over here uh, so for this design as you can see we have got three surfaces so we need three uh, text different text so I have uh, typed out three text over here one is bold other is a little bold and uh, thin bold and after that little thinner and the smaller bold so what I'll do is I'll change all the three to a symbol open the symbol panel and just drag and drop the text over here created it into a symbol so just do that and convert them into symbol click OK and we got the symbol. Now I'll just uh, delete this out for now and now I'll open the appearance panel go to 3D extra and Babel option preview and I'll go to map art uh, invisible geometry for now and let's choose the surface. So for the top surface we need a thick one so I'll just select this one and scale to fit and as you can see it's fitting properly I'll just give a gap around here at this corner I want to give simple gap and I just extend it a little bit down similar to that and I'll just I'll leave it like that. Now for the next surface we have got this surface so let's apply some text to it. So for this I will choose this text and map to fit and after that I'll just rotate the angle a little bit. So just rotate it to this angle it's the same angle I want so I'll just keep it this way and let's extend a little bit closure to this line and shift it upper just to make sure that it's on the edge of that and I think it's okay and after that let's choose the other surface uh, the other surface is this one below one uh, for that let's choose this symbol and scale to fit let's rotate it let's see okay let's rotate one more time and here we go so for this we need some little adjustments so I'll just make a little bit lower and a little bit on the other side as well just to get some little bit of gap on the other side and just reduce. Okay so once you have got all your text in position we'll do final adjustments so I'll just go back to this uh, first one and do some little adjustments to get that nice gap then I'll go over here and do some more adjustments just to make sure it's properly adjusted and push it up a little bit and after that I'll go over here do the same for here just a little bit of additional details and adding some gap in between like that and click OK and here we go if you want to do more adjustments you can just go there and play around with these angles so I can just move around and uh, try to get achieve this effect so just move around with the angle of rotation and this uh, perspective angle like that and giving a little rotation on the other side as well and adjusting the perspective depth just to give some interesting look like that and once you're happy with it I'll click OK and We'll add a background so I'll just bring out this background over here and just uh, select them and I'll expand it object expand appearance and I'll just scale up the size and 
here we go we have applied a nice text effect to a 3d shape and we have used very simple option we have used uh, the 3d revolve and the 3d extra bevel option and created this nice text design and this way you can use this technique to create any design you like right now we have seen how we can use it in a sphere slender or donut shape or there's a cuboidal but you can create any challenging shapes you want and apply it in the same technique so this is how you can wrap a text to any 3d shape and use it to create some interesting design text design like this so in the previous video we have seen how we can wrap a text to a shape and here we have seen how we can wrap a text to 3d shape so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up and if you want more updates on designing don't forget to like share and subscribe this channel thank you